and now we're going to be talking about keeping your garden buzzing year-round with bees. I'm joined by Chris and Bill Reed from Reed's Nursery uh, down in the Kyle Lockhart area. It's great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good. We Always nice here. to talk about uh, this topic because yes. we all know how important bees are. Uh, but they really play a crucial role in the ecosystem, don't they? They absolutely do. I mean, um, there are many different pollinators, of course, but bees are one of the best pollinators that we have. Uh, not just honey bees, of course, mm -hmm. but also native bees. And there's right. quite a few that we have in this area. And so uh, we really need to be good to them. <laughs> they need our help. <laughs> They're good to us. We should be good yes, to them. absolutely. As simple as that. And our, our topic today really is creating year-round habitat for them. Why is that important, Bill? Well, uh, we have things that are fall bloomers and spring bloomers, and they need food year-round. And basically, we have a selection of plants here that accomplish that. Most of these are very cool natives. Some of them we've never talked about, so I'm excited to get started. Mm -hmm. um, one that I'm just in really enjoying right now is right next to me, and this is almond verbena. Uh, and this is incredibly fragrant, it and is. that almond fragrance—it's like a—it's like a wonderful a Dan or Austrian pastry or yes. something. <laughs> <laughs> almond cookies. Oh uh, yeah. It, it, it gets quite large over time. It's—it's uh, it's going to lose its leaves, of course, but mm. over time it can get up to 15 by 15 feet. So it's one that you really want to give it room. Fifteen by yes. fifteen feet. Over time, People hard to believe. That. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I'm almond fragrance wafting at you. Oh yeah, yeah. they're just gorgeous blooms, <clears throat> uh, mainly in the fall, and it's right. absolutely wonderful. And the butterflies and the bees love it. Well, it's great for um, both species then, and full sun, low mm -hmm. water. Full sun, low water. Okay, almond verbena. Big aggressive plant yeah. that will do well. Yes, okay. if it's got the right spot, it's okay. perfect. Now this, uh, I recognize this mimosa-like uh, foliage uh -huh. as the huisatch. <laughs> yes. And this is, of course, just a tiny little baby, yeah. but this will grow into a tree. Yeah, 20 by 20, and uh, of course it it's uh, got those beautiful golden flowers in the spring right. that the bees love, and it's. It's the most wonderful fragrance. I can't even describe it. It's so lovely. Well, and uh, lovely leaves. Mm -hmm. Very tough, obviously. You know, it's right. a native and it's a uh, low water. Pretty much actually just put it in and walk away. I don't think you have to do a whole lot. Well, I like a lot of these plants in the mimosa family because of that kind of graceful foliage, that light area of yes. quality. And these Feathery. have the, the, the flowers are little gold balls. Yes, and it's the, so pretty. Yeah, and a really remarkable plant. So a great tough plant for full sun. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a good xeriscape tree. It's something that you could put in your landscape and it's going to be beautiful and it provides food for the bees and it's tough. I mean, you yeah. just don't have to worry it's about it. It's also a legume, fixes its right. own nitrogen into the ground. That's okay. right. Okay, so multiple benefits from this plant. The next one we're going to talk about is anise hyssop. Yes. And uh, we're, we're getting all the flavors over here. So yeah. we have, we've we had almond, uh -huh. now we have anise, and for uh -huh. those who aren't familiar, it's like a licorice. Yes, it's fabulous. Wow, yes, it is fabulous. And it can get, it can get to be about, mm. Mm, you know, a couple of feet tall. It'll reseed unless you clip off the flowers, which I don't mind, I think it's a wonderful plant for that. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous, and the bees absolutely love it. It's one of their favorites. And it gets these lovely purple flowers, spires of flowers, and. It's uh, for people who want to be good to pollinators, that's a great one to put in. Okay. Anise hyssop, again, is the plant. And it makes a great tea, also. Um, I could, I could yeah, certainly I you could yeah, you know, that. That it, that it make a delicious tea. I can yeah. smell the fragrance here. It's very Yummy. aromatic. And uh, it would, I would assume it would be very calming. There's a little flower there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Kind of hidden away. Yeah. Um, very, very interesting little plant, and yeah, it's a great and, and it's self seeder is again good. It's good to know the habits of these things. Exactly. Yeah. Right. It, if it's you know if it's going to be a problem, clip off the blooms. But I think just put it in the right spot. You All know, right. it can take it, it can take full sun or part shade. So it's, okay. it's kind of flexible. Very it's really good. good about that. Well, our producer Linda is very excited about globe mallow. Yes. She is raving about this plant. Why is she so excited about this? Well, it's. What, full sun, low water, beautiful velvety leaves. Indestructible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indestructible, and you haven't mentioned the flowers yet. Yeah, gorgeous uh, apricot, orange, orange cups. Mm -hmm. uh, soft flowers, uh, bees love it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one Blooms of those multiple seasons? Pretty much off and on all, all year, I Take, would say. Takes a rest now and then, but pretty yeah. much all mm -hmm. summer long it's blooming. 
That's, so it's nice. It's okay, not, uh, globe mallow. It's I think we just created a stampede. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I, I'm just picturing that beautiful silver foliage with apricot colored flowers oh, on yes. it. Oh, so That's striking. Very, very. And it's just nice. Yeah. Nice and tough. Okay, well, that's the kind of plant we want to garden yeah. with in Central Texas. Exactly. <laughs> right next to it is a, a, a plant that deserves to be on everybody's favorite list, and that's the Gulf Penstemon. Right. And this is an early spring bloomer. Yeah, it's, and, and what we love about it is it just looked good all year. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not like ones that'll bloom and then it kind of fades. This was just, the foliage is pretty, and then mm -hmm. the beautiful flowers, and again, it's a great pollinator plant. We, we, we seeds readily. Yeah. Yeah. And, it could, uh, does colonize that, and it's one of the first bloomers in the spring. Yeah, early yes. spring. Yeah, which is really nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I consider it a harbinger of spring, and it, it yeah. and it also is shade part shade. Exactly. It, you know, it, it can take that kind of situation. Exactly, mm -hmm. it's flexible, so it's nice to have some options, and right. it's also one that. Like you mentioned, we want to have things that are blooming off and on all year. Right. Don't want just the spring bloomers. The bees need it mm -hmm. all year, so it's really important to have something that, you know, okay. you can. Uh, enjoy all year and it's also something the bees love so right. uh, we really love it it's a great one next to it is the kidney wood and this is an, a, a big shrub or a little tree that uh, is endemic to our region you find it all throughout the hill country and i yeah. imagine parts east as well exactly and uh, it's a very good tree again low water Full sun or part shade mm -hmm. very much a favorite of, of pollinators like the native bees yeah. and in a way, for me, when I've seen it on the side of the road, I'll think it's I'll think it's almond verbena because mm -hmm. I'll see the the sh shrubby leaves and the, the beautiful flowers. But it's actually kidney wood, and again, if you have the right spot, <coughs> it's one of those you put it in and walk away. Well, when it blooms in the late summer, everyone comes in and asks us, "What is that out there? What yeah. is that plant?" Exactly. So it's great. Please tell the us. The fragrance yeah. is amazing. It's it amazing. is. I, it's I love nice. the kidney wood. You know, and you know. Thinking of uh, plants uh, that a lot of people garden with here, uh, one that uh, you didn't bring, but we have images of is, is rosemary. Uh -huh. And I can only imagine how good rosemary honey would be. I bet. <laughs> I bet that's really with good. The bees that, Tasty. And that's a great uh, uh, poll uh, pollinator. Very much it? a favorite of the bees, yeah. And, and mm -hmm. of course, uh, rosemary, is, you know, as you know, low water, mm -hmm. full sun. Uh, great to cook with, right. you know, one of those great plants that we just love, and, and that's why you see a lot of it, because mm -hmm. it is such a great one. Well, you know, uh, um, this is just a hint to beekeepers out there. <laughs> I think you should experiment with just, you know, getting the honey from the, the that's rosemary. That's a good point. Yeah, I bet that's got a <laughs> nice I think that would be fad. awesome. Yeah, I bet that would be good. Okay, we have a couple more plants to talk about. Flame acanthus is a great plant, um, a great plant color. I love orange exactly. flowers. And and this is a butterfly favorite. Didn't know it was a bee favorite. Yes, it's definitely a bee favorite. We, we have a collection of bumblebees that come around ours at home every morning, unfailingly. And they work the flowers, and they disappear for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. But they're there every day. Take their little nice little morning, morning ritual yeah. for you and the bees. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> fun to watch. Yeah, yeah right. And, and bumblebees are, you know, they need they need help too, just like mm -hmm. the, the little native bees. They all need help. We need to give them the food because they've lost a lot of habitat. So we need to right. help them with that. And the flame acanthus, I just have to say, tough as nails. Oh, a sun, Low full water. sun. Yeah. Full sun. It or, can, or it can take some shade. It, right. Um, it will grow along yeah, the edge nice. of some bigger plants. Right. So it's flexible. And it's, uh, gets pretty rangy. Yeah. But uh, Doesn't mind bare, the haircut, right? Right. <laughs> but it's easy to control, I think. Yeah, exactly. And you know. it's, Pretty much put it in and walk away again. You know? I like those kind of plants. Yeah, I do too. Right next to it uh, is white mist flower, which everybody knows is a butterfly uh, pollinator, right. but uh, great for the bees as well. Absolutely, and uh, you know what, re what we really like about it is that it's a great fall bloomer. Mm -hmm. Because again, you can't have everything blooming in the spring. You have to have you know things and, that are blooming. And the one in the fall. that we have at home is quite large, oh. and when it's blooming, everything in the it's world gorgeous. is on top of it. It's alive. <laughs> no, and that's. It's isn't that amazing? It's it so beautiful. Fun, yeah. Beautiful. And it smells like honey. Right, right. It's fabulous. I went hiking uh, at butterfly migration time this year, uh -huh. and there was out in the middle of the hill country one lone white mist uh -huh. flower 
covered. Yeah. I'll bet. Covered. Yeah. With Easy to take photos butterf- then, Oh, yes. It? <laughs> the butterflies are mobbing they it. Never the bees leave. are all there, right? Yeah. Got lots of images with both butterflies and bees. Absolutely. Well, it's a great pleasure to visit with you, and we applaud your interest in this particular topic, and, uh, and thanks for helping spread the word about all these cool plants. Well, great. Well, we're happy to do that. Okay. And, of course, you have a, a great website, too. We have a great website. It's just readsnursery.com. And uh, I'd also like to mention that we have some very beneficial seminars during the year. Oh, well, great. Again, yeah. our guests have been Bill and Chris Reed from Reed's Nursery. Uh, it's great to have you with us. Folks can find you between Kyle and Lockhart here in right. Central Texas. Right. We really appreciate you being back on the program. Well, thank you. Thank you, Tom. All right. And coming up next is our friend Daphne. Mm-hmm.